Okay, so this is the solution to quiz number two from unit six. We have a beta of three quarters. So before we start drawing pictures, let's calculate gamma. We're going to need gamma a lot. So gamma is one over one minus beta squared square root. And we're given beta, so we just plug in. So let's see, 3 quarters is 0.75, 1 minus 0.75 squared equal, take the square root, turn upside down, and I get the gamma is roughly 1.51. Okay, so we'll use that in a moment. Beta is 3 quarters, so that means that, all right, that's the speed of Beowulf, that's the speed of Beowulf's clock. So the uh, T prime axis is the world line of Beowulf's origin clock. So that will be a straight line with a slope of 4 over 3. So the clock travels 3 seconds of space, distance, in 4 seconds of time. So this is going to look like this. So this would be my T prime axis. Slope of 4 over 3. All right. So when um, Beowulf says it's one second, what does Anna think it is? When it's one second in, on the T prime axis, what is it on the T axis? So we'll use the result. That delta t is gamma delta t prime. So uh, let's see. Delta t. If delta if delta t prime is one, if Beowulf is measuring one second, I'm just going to plug in 1.51 and one second, and that's 1.51 seconds. So that tells me that. Let's see here. That I would draw about this. This would be roughly my one second mark for Beowulf. And that this um, here is 1.51 seconds. All right, what about when Beowulf says it's two seconds? It's going to be similar. Can you use the same formula? And gamma is 1.51. T prime, well, that's two seconds. So that's going to be uh, 3.02 seconds. So that tells me that right about there, that would be when Beowulf's clock says two seconds, and that would correspond to Anna's reading of about 3.02. So this is um, a two, the, well, the start of a two-observer space-time diagram. And at this point, we've seen how to draw the T prime axis and how to calibrate it using this gamma. And I should mention, we could also write that these, these are not great drawings, the um, one second and one second, two second and two seconds, those are connected with hy hyperbolas. I didn't, these were supposed to be parallel. Um, so we've seen how to um, think about the T prime axis, and what we're going to do in the next couple of videos is think about the X prime axis. And we'll have to think a little bit about what the X axis even means, and then once we figure that out, we'll go through a calibration exercise similar to this, and we'll have our two observer diagram.